Hello. It's Tuesday the 26th of September 2017. Well, it will take three months. And today marks a very special occasion. It's 30 years ago today since Chucklevision began. It isn't. It is. It isn't. It is. Is it? Yes, it really is. Those two catastrophe-prone brothers, who have since become indisputable national treasures, began their Saturday morning magazine show on Children's BBC. While two or three standard-length series of 13 episodes could have been expected, the show defied all the odds of longevity and went on to run for an astounding 21 series in 292 episodes between 1987 and 2009 crowning it as the longest-running TV show on Children's BBC, behind Blue Peter and Grange Hill, and the UK's second-longest-running sitcom in terms of episode count, seconded only to Last of the Summer Wines 295. So sit back and relax as we recount 30 years of comedic history, chronicling every single episode, every catchphrase, every... To make you! Every... Oh dear, oh dear. And every... Silly me! Silly you! Every recurring character. No slacking. No get out of it. Every guest star, every writer, and every piece of merchandise ever produced. Get ready for over three and a half hours of chuckle mania. I'm all ears. I know you are, but listen anyway. Oi! Quiet at the back. Roll title. Good morning again. Hello. Hello. Or as they say in Australia, good day, mate. Hello. Hello. Hello again. And welcome to Chucklevision. Chucklevision. Oh, this is it. The first day of Chucklevision. Just imagine my own programme, own scripts, own staff. Own staff? Yeah, you. Yeah. That's it. Les coquilles, les muscles. Alive, alive, oh. Don't be stupid. Oh. 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 What is it? My improvements. Can I lower the lighting in my lounge without mm -hmm. buying an expensive dimmer control? Oh, hi, lower the lighting. Hey, 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 hey. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Have a nice Christmas. Just like we're going to have. Yes. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. But don't worry, we'll soon have this place ship shape. Well, let's do. Here it is. The Australia's cap. Yeah. Very nice, isn't it? <laughs> List. That sounds like the mating call of the lesser spotted what's it? Almost like a car's horn. It is a bit, isn't it? And over here, we have the finished article. A perfect model of an area... of a table. Hey, <laughs> yes. tell you what, I like the legs a bit. Get very much like Queen Anne's. No wonder she wore a long dress. Well, that's all I've got time for, so till we see you again, have a happy Easter and a merry new spring. And same for me too. That Bye. But my lord, it's going to be a cold winter. Ah, you'll be right. There you are. Wrap that round with the kneecaps. I'm proud to present, here on Top Vision, we have conclusive evidence that UFOs have landed on the Earth. Hey, I'm beating you now. Hey, I've got your... Hey, I'm coming. Hey, oh. this is great. 6,004. Hi, hi, hi. 6,004. Oh, oh, hi, oh, hi. 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 Oh, hi
luck may have it, the handsome prince was just riding by. Was he on his pike? Pike! Don't mention fish! That's it. There it is. I do realise we're moving into a new field. Won't that be a bit drafty? No, a new field. The world of big business. I don't think I like the sound of that. Sure, did you put the cottery in? That one. What do you think you two are doing? I thought you were going to go I can't see it. My mistake. Sugar. Hey, Paul, Paul. What? I did the trick. What, the, um, yes, you didn't do that. Watch. Hey, that's very good. <laughs> Take a chair while we're waiting. You know all the tricks of the trade, you don't yet. Uh, sit down. And remember, when you work for me, no slacking. How did you know? Look again. Hey, don't feel the head of the wiser. Is it any good? Is it any good? This watch tells you the time and the date in 12 different cities around the world simultaneously at the same time. Great! And it's guaranteed 100% accurate. When did you get it? A week next Thursday. Wow! Oh, you're having another one of those days, aren't you? Oh no! Oh no! Good news! <laughs> oh! Boy, I'm sorry! You buffoon! You've broken my toe now! Don't worry, I know everything there is to know about first aid. I used to be a first aider. And I know all about lemons. I used to be a lemonade. Oh. Oh. Come in. Come in. Come on. Keep coming. Come on. Whoa. It's boiling. The 
is a nice chocolate fudge in here. Oh! Where's the duck? I'm not telling. Chocolate eclairs. Oh! Where's the duck? I'm not telling. Licorice torpedoes. Oh! Where's the duck? Headingley Hall. Right, that's where we'll be first thing in the morning. It is look, our new headquarters. It's very nice. It is very nice. Come on then. Blindfold off now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what do you think then? This may sound a wee bit strange, but I feel I've been here before. Really? What do you think? It's far too big. You'll never hang that up in here. Let some air out of it. Okay. Oh, 
with the zip. I know. What can that be? It must be. Okay, no. Done it! Soon. We are now. This is to certify that Paul and Barry Chuckle hold the world record for the highest number of failed record attempts. Brilliant! You've certainly got what it takes, lads. Dedication, yeah, yeah. Dedication, oh, ho. Oh. Dedication, that's what you need. If you want to be the best, and if you want to be the rest, oh, yeah. Dedication is what you need. Ba -ba -ba. No good crying over me when I interfere with tea. You wouldn't want me in your cup, so ask the cat to clean me up. What am I? What are you going on about? It's a riddle. All the answers on the bottom. It says, spilt milk, sweetness and light, that's chalky white. Today I anoint you with angel's delight. Oh dear. Here, oh dear. <laughs> Stop right there. You think it means us? Nah, we're probably talking to an aeroplane. Still, we better get a move on. I said hold it! Teal! To me! Teal! To me! Teal! To me! Teal! To me! What's the matter with him? I think he's going to pieces. I know who you are. Right. Sorry about that, sir. Postman Pat, Postman Pat. Postman Pat, and it's like I've seen pat. this for years. <laughs> Certainly changed. In that case, you need a downstairs. There's been a development. I never knew you had a camera. Oh, 
Is she now? Pleased to meet you, Ma. Obliged, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Hello. We're not open to the public. We're not open to the general public. <laughs> We're not the general public. Tell him, Barry. You've already told him. There go, Barry. Oh, hang on. That was close. Give yourself a clap. Have you seen the goldfish? All safe and sound. Thou art a villain, and I, Brutus, tell me, fly away like a bird along... Just a minute, just a minute. You're playing over my line there. Sorry. Hmm. 
Larry, you can't stand in the way of progress. Move out of the way. Oh. Hey, that's much better. I don't know why I bother. It's a little bit more mud, I think. Oh, oh. oh dear. Where's mine? I was giving it you. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I leaned over here and put this on like this. I put my thing on and I came. Silly me. Still here. Well, there you are, you see. Hang on. Why have you got a bite out of it? I haven't. Well, somebody did. It wasn't me. I'm just having a bite of your own sandwich. Well, I leaned over here, did that, and I put this on and came. What are you taking it back for? I've not touched it. Oh, where's it gone? Well, I don't know. I gave it to you just now and you said I've been it. There. Is there any history of insanity in your family? Do you mind? How have you know all my family's completely mental? If I've agreed to put this nonsense behind us, yes. And you've agreed to put this nonsense behind us, yes. Then who's that? The big foot! Ah! introduce ourselves. I, um, well, we are representatives of the stately known Garden Ornament Company. S-G-G-O-C for short. Really? T anyone? Skeppy! Skeppy! Oh, there you are. Woof, woof. I've got something for you. Hey, 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 hey. What? Um, woof, woof, woof. Since you like it so much, I'll give you a double helping. Woof, woof. Would the prisoners please rise? Don't worry, Barry. I'll get us out of here in no time. Have you two ever been up before me? I don't know, sir. What time do you get up? You don't seem to have any legal representation. Do you have a barrister? Of course we do. Otherwise we'd fall off the staircase. You do know that you're entitled to the best defence in the land. <laughs> Indeed we do, my lad. And that's why I shall be conducting the defence myself. And my first witness, I would like to call Mr. Barry Chuckle. Call Barry Chuckle! Call Barry Chuckle! Call Barry Chuckle! Mr. Chuckle, you don't need to do that. We have people to do it for you. Oh, thank you very much. I was talking to the other Mr. Chuckle. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to open my case. <laughs> Just a little legal humour. Paul, oh, don't worry, Barry. I'm getting him on our side. Now, I'd like to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that we are not bank robbers. Barry, are we bank robbers? No. They are, my lad. Open and shut case. Thank you. <laughs> the legendary Titchy's statue. Big, is it? No, it's um, about this size. Priceless it is. And said to have mysterious powers. Powers? What sort of powers? It is said to turn the minds of anyone who holds it and bring evil and misfortune upon them. Oh dear, oh dear. As I was saying, I think we should streamline the chair to cut down on the drag. Yeah, but we're not dragging it, we're carrying it. You have no idea, have you? No. Well, at least you admit it. You see, with my superior intellect... Stop! <laughs> Now let me see if I've got this right. The drag coefficient minus the cross velocity equals 15 milliseconds per square foot. What do you think? I think you're talking gibberish. Scientific calculations are not gibberish. Gibberish is what they speak in gibber. Just a minute, stop! I've got the world's press waiting for a picture of you two, and I think it only fair that you have your moment of fame. Great! Great. And I've got the perfect headline to go with it. Over the moon, 
Not quite. Still to do with the moon, though. I thought lunar scientists? No. Lunar explorers? No. Lunar discoverers? No. Lunar dicks! It's a bit dark in here. Just follow me. I don't think much of this. Ah! Oh, sorry, Camilla. Where were you taking us? Steady. No, no. Just there, sir. Oh. Up these stairs. happened to my boat? Looks somehow different. Uh, well, we took the opportunity to give it a slight makeup. Fancy bringing an animal like that in here, Barry. You're useless, you are. Why don't you give me a mouth to rescue my later and play about? Eh? You heard, you're bigger than Nick. I don't believe me ears. Neither can I. Your nose is not too much either. I've never been so insulted. Concentrating. Good night. Forecast for the British Isles for the next 24 hours, with a forecast for England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. And the sea is very blue. And the pollen count is very high. And, and the windshield factor very low. And of course, after the wind, it, there, there will be a, a slight drizzle, which, which could ev eventually turn into quite heavy rain. But by the end of the day, I'm. Oh! There'll be a torrential downpour! Will you step outside for a moment? And what if I refuse? Ah! I'd like to see you do that again. Ah! I defy you to do that again. Ah! Right, that's it. You can keep your rotten castle. Hey, hey, hey. I've cracked it this time, Barry. This one's brimming full of vegetables. <laughs> this is the one. All the veg cooked for 20 minutes. Carton of yogurt. Indeed, I could. I'm Paul Chuckle of the Rotherham Chuckles. Hark! Is that music I hear? What is it? It's the stuff your face in my mouth. That's the one, George Formby. Wonderful song. I thought he took it rather well, considering. Yeah, he could have turned quite nasty. Oh, oh no! Oh! Oh! oh. Paul! What? 
So what are you doing? Uh, just give me your brush down. Oh, nice. Very nice. But do you think this shirt's a bit grubby? Oh, no, 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 that's fine, that. It's whiter than white. Hey, it's us, Paul and Barry! <laughs> she obviously didn't recognise me. Let me! Hi, Mrs. Creepy! <laughs> Let me have another go. I was always her favourite. Would you like to go walk? <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you there's no such thing as vampires? If you don't believe me, you can ask him. Useless. Here, let me have a go. I'll show you. Yeah, hold on to that. Yeah. Absolute snip at 500. Oh dear. I never say I'm a car hawk again. In my life, it'll be too soon. I've never seen such a filthy, dirty, ugly bird in all my life. Natural disasters. Well, I never. So what does all this tell you about the two hooligans who've been harassing Dan? Well, it can only mean one thing, can't it? Exactly. Yes. These villains have been impersonating us. <laughs> Look, I've got a very important dinner tonight. I need waiters. Waiters? That's right. I've been booked by the Duke of Comfort to prepare a romantic meal for himself and a female companion. And between you and me, I think he's going to pop the question. I hope you'll both be very happy together. Not to me, to his lady friend. Hang on a minute. Then I know you. Do you? Yeah, it's just struck me. Oh. Oh. Will you get a move on? I'd like it to go on record that I'm not happy. You're not supposed to be happy. You're supposed to be a hen. Now then, madam, the moment you've been waiting for, the potato lounge. Ah! As you can see, there's loads of things you can do with potatoes. Where are you, 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 you? Hello. Here is the midnight you. 
It's uncanny. They look more like us every time I see them. No, they don't. If I look like that, I'd seriously consider having plastic surgery. <laughs> what do you say, Barry? I'd quit while I was ahead if I was you. So pleased to see you again. Jolly decent of you to pop round. Likewise, I'm sure. What do you think you're doing? I'm saying hello. It's been a long time. Exactly. Twelve months tomorrow. Oh, yes. Today I beat you 7,000 nil at tennis. Shouldn't that be love? Not in this case, no. Yeah, I know slacking. Yeah, but listen anyway. Ooh. 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 Now there's something they really could do with a haircut. He's not the only one. What? Oh, what am I going to do? Would you like to step inside and take a seat, sir? I'll be with you in a moment. Get out of it! Are you my new assistant groundskeepers? Yes, Mr. Tiley. How do you do? Pleased to meet you. There's nothing we don't know about the care and maintenance of cricket pitches. Well, if you're such experts, why have you found this thing in the middle of my beautiful wicket? Don't do that. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I'm wondering how much a day ticket to Blackpool costs. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. You'll need our booking office across the road. This is lost and found. Oh, I've uh, come to all places. Great, so oh, sorry. Ha ha! I think not. I'm very much in the right place. It's you. That's amazing. You know, I had no idea. Naturally. After all, I'm a master of disguise. Uh, I must say, I was quite impressed by the way you handled me the customer. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yes. I can see we're going to get along. Thank you very, very much. It's a phantom. An old Tom, more like. Oh, 
specify user setting. Beginner, intermediate, or expert. Expert. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. This will tell us the exact whereabouts of the professor. You appear to have entered a recipe for crispy duck. Suggest user logs on again using idiot setting. You're right. They do know everything. Stupid thing. Well, suffice to say, we're on the trail of a list of components needed to activate a potentially devastating weather machine, which we believe is somewhere in the vicinity of Professor Rex Frimley's home. Why don't you have another slice? Could we have the... Uh... Oh, he's gone. Oh, could we have another thing? You've got two. It's in the diary. Yeah, but I'll... Silly. Silly. Dear, oh, dear. What, what? Declare anyone? Like man! Hey! I'm ugly. I wouldn't say you were that bad. So you're the Nissan guys? Groovy! Forget the groovy stuff, buddy. Flash and you appeared. Yeah, that's why I'm here. You know, it's how I imagined. Yeah. Your clothes, they're all sort of functional. I suppose you're right. But you are a genie. The genie. Not much I can't fix, I tell you. Okay then. I wish, I wish I had a piece of cake. Oh. And? How'd you do? Me? Get off. Foot. Oh, ah, ah, ah. They're okay. Excuse me, I'd like a word, please. Please accept our profound apologies. It's just that you inadvertently used a word we are trained to react to. The word that triggers off their inbuilt defensive instinct. But I didn't say anything. I just sneezed, didn't I, buddy? You did. You see? Yeah, I didn't say anything. I just said, at you. That's how I disabled the device. You did? Barry, dear, I'm so proud of you. Extra jelly for you, I think. Oh, thank you. Mind you, I can't take all the credit. Paul did a lot, too. I suppose he was the one that got the machine working again. He certainly was. Oh, yes. I'm very good with mechanical things, you know. You are? Oh, I certainly am. In that case, you can turn it off again this instant. <laughs> This will impress him, Barry. You did remember to put the extra teaspoon of powder in, don't you? Teaspoon? <laughs> Run, Barry! We've ruined Christmas! Barry, Barry, but, Barry, but, Barry! But, wake oh, up! What's the matter with you? I've had this horrible dream. There was this bad-tempered Father Christmas and a nasty elf 
There, there, Barry. It was only a dream. Geo partners! Trot on, Horatio! And no slacking! Quick, get back to sleep, he's coming! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, Barry! Merry Christmas! <laughs> and so Mr. Paul and Mr. Barry had learned the lesson of Christmas. They continued to live and work in peace and goodwill and extended kindness and consideration to their customers and those less fortunate than themselves. And within six months, they were bankrupt. Oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh dear, oh dear! Seems to have gained a few pounds. Perhaps I can give you some tips for your investments. No, wait! Wait here? I'd sooner come with you. Come on, then. Have a beef cobbler. Oh, no, thank you, I've eaten. Nonsense talking. Of course, that Paul couldn't tell. No, of course he couldn't. <laughs> Could I have a word? It's the other one. Hello, Paul. What are you doing here, Paul? Why do you keep doing that with it? Uh, do you fancy a little snack? Oh, I forgot. You don't like these. I do. No, you don't. I do, though. I love them. I mm. thought you said your brother had grown. Did I? Yes, you said that he'd shut up. No, no, no. I said he'd shut up. Yeah, he doesn't say much anymore. I do. Shut up. Hey, hey, look. It's Mr. Carrington Smythe. Pronounce Smith. The well-known secret agent. Hello. Hello. Goodbye. Still working for MI7? No, no, I've moved on. Oh, gone up to MI8, MI9. MI2. Oh. Look, will you leave me alone? I'm on a very important mission. Are you? What sort of mission? I'm following that man over there. It's vitally important not to attract his attention. Oh, don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Come on, Barry. What are you doing? Hiding. If anybody sees us, they'll think I'm a scientist. We'll make our escape later. Just one thing. Why can't I be the doctor and you be the patient? Because I've got the stethoscope. Well, oh. oh, remember what he said? Don't touch anything. Of course not. Ah, oh, doctor. Yeah? Oh, sorry. Hello, uh, doctor. And this was Dean, nice scientist, Nancy Barber. Typical. You give your all for your country, and what thanks do you get? By the way, what was in the box? My surprise. While I was waiting for the dead guy, I nipped into town and bought another balloon, exactly the same colour as the first one. Then I swapped it for the one with the plasma ball in it. You mean? That's right. The doctor's got the ordinary balloon, and the one with the plasma ball in it is in the box. Won't Mr. Carrington Smythe get a surprise when he finds out? I think he just might. <laughs> Don't look back, Barry. This sign marks the exact boundary between the town river and my trout farm. You can fish there, but not there. Well, how do the fish know which is your farm and which is the town water? There's an underwater wall, and all my fish are there. Now, there's nothing in the town river. Nothing? Oh, well, except for that monster pike. Jaws, we call him. The fiercest, most evil creature ever to set fin in these waters. Ooh. I'm gonna show what you happened to all the other fish? Yes, him. Which is why I don't want him in my trout farm. Uh, Barry? I'm busy. Oh, uh, new time you're on your way now, then. I don't think we're in the bookshop anymore. Of course we are. It's just a room that we haven't been in before. I think we're in Camelot. Don't be silly. It's just a big cupboard with uh, flags and candles and things. What makes you think we're in Camelot? Well, here's the round table. And here's the throne. This is not Camelot. Are you going to tell King Arthur or shall I? Who disturbs the peace of King Arthur of Camelot? Oh, well, that settles it. At last. We're definitely still in the bookshop. What? Yeah, that's Mr. Gray. He's obviously dressed up, ready for Uncle Mervyn's welcome home party. I'm not sure. I've got some good news and some bad news for you. The good news is we've found Uncle Mervyn. The bad news is we've lost him. What are you talking about? Who is this Mr. Gray and Uncle Mervyn you speak of? You know Uncle Mervyn. Things the wizard. Keeps shaking his wand about like this. My robes! How did that happen? I keep telling you, it's that staff, it's magic. 
What, you mean to say I could tell this bloke to turn into a frog and he would? <laughs> oh dear. Now, if this works, Barry, you'll get a bit of a speed boost off. We'll have that piano downstairs in seconds. Doesn't seem to have worked. We should have fast forwarded all the way down the stairs. You are. Sorry? I think it's What's that? I said, what? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were. I think it's Barry? Harry? Who's Harry? I'm not Harry. There's only Barry here. Oh dear. I seem to have gone a bit too far forward. You just wait there, Grandad. You're not my grandson. Don't worry, Barry. I'll have you back to normal in a jiffy. That'll have you sorted. Barry? Oops. Who's a lovely little boy, then? It's very you, Sir Percy. Really? Yes, you can't beat the Rotherham rug. Just needs a little teasing, that's all. I wouldn't tease it too much, it might turn nasty. Well, I do want to look my best for the ball tonight. Just a minute. There's something on your chin. Tell me. How long have you been working for the Countess Leblanc? Oh, well, uh, let me see. It's a bit difficult, that. About two hours. And yeah, yes, uh, but we have servanted for some of the best families in England, haven't we, Barry? Oh, yes. There was the best from Sheffield, the Doncaster Bests, and the best from Hartlepool. They weren't the best. They weren't bad, though. You've had enough, Captain. We? Yes, we. From now on, we're safe for ourselves. Every man aboard is with us. Not quite. These two lads are with me. No, they're with me, aren't you, lads? Uh, can we talk about this, please? Belay that talk, Mr. Smug. These two fine lads are with me. Yes. You don't want to join those treacherous dogs, do you, lads? Um... Don't forget, if you come with us, you get a share of the treasure, and you'll probably end up on a prison ship eating biscuits full of weevils. We could be rich, yeah, but we'll never save the Countess. We're with you, Captain. Ah! All hands on deck! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, monsieur. I'm thinking of giving it all up and opening a restaurant somewhere. <laughs> a good idea, citizen Robespierre. You don't mind us calling you citizen. That will do nicely. What about robes? Don't push it. Oh. Hey, listen, how about if we I'm set up a shop in England? What is all about. Maybe I could teach you how to cook snails. That'll cause a revolution. Barry does a great earwig soup. Sounds good. England it is. Right, move this now. After three. Right. One, two, three. To me. To you. To you. To me. Yes. And again. To me. To you. To you. Yes. To me. Can you see me out yet? One more time. Yes. To me. To you. To you. To me. Yes. That's it. Oh dear, oh dear. Yes. Come on, your turn. My one. This is ridiculous. Haven't you fixed that yet? It snapped. We'll stick it back up, nobody will notice. You'll never guess where the buzzer is. Where? Right next to the bell push. Oh. Whoever installed this must have been a complete idiot. We've never been here before. Oi! You two idiots! Watch out for trouble. You're still on my patch. Well, we're here and we're here to stay. Besides, everybody on this street likes us. We're cheaper than you. I lower my prices. And we'll lower ours. I'll do it for nothing. We'll do it for less. I think it's for the best. Paul and Barry, this property is a symbol of all their dreams. Well, there's certainly a lot of scope for improvement. <laughs> Mostly cosmetic, though. Barry's going to do the decorating after. Is it after I've put the step outside? Yes. Sorry about that. We've got a bit of a leak. Your lights don't work. That's right. No electricity. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a bit of a problem? No. I've thought about that carefully. Uh -huh. 
And? Oh, he'll fix it later. He's not after I've done the decorating. Move the steps and fix the leak. Yes. I'm fit to the new bathroom. Would you like me to show you around the rest of the property? Mm, it'd be lovely. It's not too much trouble. No trouble at all. After you. Famous steak and onion pie. That's the one. Soon we'll have truck wagons the length of the country. Isn't this one long enough for you, then? Anyway, enough of this chit-chat. Get me an onion. Thank you. Thank you. I only asked for one onion. I only gave you one onion. You did not. You... I thought I asked you for an onion. Get me an onion. There you go. Thank you. Boy, will you stop putting all those onions down my end of the cabinet? What onions? Those are... Forget it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Barry Nocchio, the wonder puppet. I'm going to show you now, Barry Nocleo, are you going to do a nice little dance for the ladies and gentlemen? I think you mean yes, Barry Nocleo. Hey, here we go. Now, I know you're thinking, so what? But I'm going to prove that Barry Nocleo is no ordinary puppet. Three strings. Two strings. One string. No strings. Now, El Mystico will bring the puppet back to life. Rise, Barry Nocchio. Rise. Dance, Barry Nocchio, dance. <laughs> Amuse me and the clock will stop. All uh, right. Uh, jokes. Oh, yes. Well, there was this miserable old man, you see. Uh, well, well, actually, he wasn't miserable. Oh, and he certainly wasn't old. No. Uh, there was this young, happy chap. Uh, and he bumped into a miserable old man. What? Morning, Barry. Paul! Oh. Hey, you want to come in here? It's lovely and warm. No, you're in a cooking pot. Ah, well, yes, and I know it looks like a cooking pot. That's Mrs. Cacodry was telling me. It's a Bavarian hot tub. Isn't that right, Mrs. C? That's right, my dear. Just a few vegetables. Ooh. Oh, careful of the shorts. <laughs> Just give it a stir for me. Certainly. Mrs. Cackleberry, you must stop this this instant. Why? What do you want about? Oh, you must excuse my brother. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. No. <laughs> do you know? <laughs> He actually thinks you're going to eat us. <laughs> Me? Eat you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. I've been a vegetarian these past 20 years. I don't eat people. There you are. What did I tell you, Barry? <laughs> but I do. Ah! Oh, dear. Your pulse is racing. I'm holding my watch. Oh, <laughs> I'll go and get a chef to make you a nice cup of tea. Yes, yeah, Barry, yes. where did this thing come from? She wanted to stay in her room. I had to get her out somehow. Well, it landed on his head. You better go and make him a cup of tea. You go and make him a cup of tea. Ah, I want a word with you. I'll just go and make him a cup of tea. What is the meaning of this? I think it's the company that made the case. Why was it taken out of my room? I've no idea. I'll ask the bellboy. Roger! Roger! Ah, there you are. Why did you take this lady's case out of her room? Um, Charlie told me to. Yes, sir? This tea's cold. I'll get you another one. To me. To you. To you. To me. To me. To you. To you. To me. To me, then. To you. To you. To me. To me. To you. I think we got away with it. Hey, you. One large cappuccino. Come in right up, sir. Oh, no. Get rid of that, buddy. I'm going to show him what a chuckle is all about. Sir Percy. Sir Percy. Guess who? Sir Percy! Well, that's funny. He always comes here for his elevenses. Perhaps he's in the little sir's room. Mm. Shall I leave this on the table for him? Yes. <coughs> what? Hello! Oh. Ah! Ah! Oh! The chuckle them. Mm -hmm. Yes! I'm so pleased to see you. What are you doing under the table? 
merely looking for my fork. Ah, I knew there'd be a reasonable explanation. Exactly. old magic. Here I come. Champion of men. At the peak of physical fitness. Moving with the grace of a Greek god. Here we are, then. I'm really looking forward to this. The country air must have given me an appetite. Welcome, Dan the Van. That Viv Wellington's for table six. This here is for table 13. What is it? It looks exotic. Mm. Some, some new kind of dish. I'll tell you what's in it. Mmm. Yes. Touch of garlic. Mm -hmm. Definitely a meaty flavour. Mm -hmm. A touch of cream. Yeah. And some herbs and spices. Ooh. What's going on here? Why are you out there waiting on the customers? Yes. You haven't been eating that, have you? I hope not. Because that's the dog food for the customer at table 13. Why would anybody want to eat dog food? It's not for him, it's for his dog, idiot. Put it in for a dog. I'm going to make you pay for disturbing my peace, Tucker. You'll have plenty of time for peace when you're locked up in the scrubs. I have the perfect alibi for last night. Uh, what? I was talking to you at the time of the robbery. We'll be off now, then. You idiot! Sorry. We'll tidy it up for you. You come here and accuse me, a police sergeant, of a criminal act, and then you ruin all my equipment. I'm warning you, Chuckle. If you cross me again, it'll be you who'll end up in the scrubs, not me. Come, Barry. We'll continue our investigations elsewhere. Jobs to do. It's amazing how quickly word gets around that we're about. I'm always surprised how long it takes. Right, you pack the tools, and I want the largest of my three mallets. Well, what are you waiting for? Chop chop. Chop chop. You want an axe as well? Chop chop means get a move on. Oh. On second thoughts, you better bring an axe. You never know. Ah, good day, sir. What can I do for you? 
I'd like to purchase a package of biscuits, please. Certainly, sir. No problem. What kind of biscuits would you like? Well, what would you recommend? Oh, well, we've got um, some rich teas. No. Uh, digestives? No. Chocolate digestives? Not today. Oh, some lovely bourbons. Um, custard creams? Ginger nuts? How about Garibaldi's? Haven't you got anything else? I might have some more out the back. Could you go and have a look, please? Have you got some polish and a duster? Of course we have, sir. Well, you better start on this counter. It's absolutely filthy. Now, look. Ah, da, 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 da. The customer's always right. <laughs> this place is in a dreadful state. Chuckle. I finally found you after all these years, you old dog. Uh, Bob Beans Chuckle. How are you? Don't pretend you're pleased to see me. You know why I'm here. No, uh, why are you here? I've come for what's rightfully mine. Oh. Yeah, give me a hand up, will you? Not easy, though. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. You'll have to catch me first, you silly old goat. <laughs> Where's that pea? I don't know. Uh, uh, it must have gone under the vinyl. I'll just pull it back a bit. Oh, it's dead oh, dear. It's all right. You'll not notice once the unit's back. Oh, there it is. Right. Oh, oh no, it's gone down the hole. Oh, well, that's that. That's not that. I'm going to get that pea if it's the last thing you do. If we make any more mess in here and Dan finds out, it might be the last thing we do. Nonsense. He'll thank us for it. My ears don't stick out like that, do they? I'm gonna no. Chuckle is all about the chisel slipped. <laughs> Twice? Oh, yes. Um, one can tell a lot of things about a person with the kind of flower they wear in the hat. Really? Yes. Take Queen Victoria, for example. She used to like to wear a... Grab him, Barry. Um, a grebin berry. It's, uh, it's a mixture between a blackcurrant and a robin. Oh, Paul Chuckle couldn't make a bed. Well, what have we here? As fine a pair of slubberdigullions as ever I did see. How dare you? We're from Rotherham. A vast and in there. I hope you're still working. And no slap it. <laughs> Oh dear. Sorry about that. He didn't like people creeping up on him, you see. Yeah, give me that crutch. Give it you. There you go. Thank you. Why didn't you tell me it was broken? You never asked. We're all right for food at the moment. I'm not. I'm starving. And we've got plenty to drink. We've got a water cooler. Oh, that's handy. Oh, yes. And this chap you're with? Bit of a loony, is he? Well, let's just say he's a few tiles short of a triple word score. And what's he doing now? Hang on. He's on the phone. And is he jumping up and down with rage? Just a minute. Yes, he is. How did you know that? Because it's me! Oh. 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 What's happened? What do you mean? Look! Oh dear, oh dear. The cake splatter is back. I know. I'm looking at it. My meringue! Oh, so you think it's funny, do you? <laughs>
now what are you laughing at? That's not my cake. That's my cake. <laughs> I think you've missed a bit. Did I? Well, you remember you got nipped by Uncle Harry's teeth? Yes. Well, I think you're a weir fox now as well. Yes. Don't be silly. If I was a weir fox, I'd be all hairy. Ah! All's well that ends well, eh? I'm going to show him what a chuckle is all about. I'll hold it, you butter it. Right, right. Ready? Go. It's like a Caribbean holiday, this. Good food, loving attention, and I'm getting a wonderful tan. Yeah, shame it's bright red. Get rid of these. How did that get there? Don't just stand there, pick them up. I say, that's no way to talk to a lady. And a very pretty one too, if I may add. Scrunchoven von Schlapsbergen. What did he say? He said Scrunchoven von Schlapsbergen. Get your book out. <laughs> well, according to that, he says his puppet's got chicken pox. Oh dear. I hope he gets better soon. Ahem. We brought this for you. Ah, Gruppen sterben overfull. Pastry got liebig einzeln. Warum hat das in die Straße überfährt? Lanschluss mal. What did he say? He said, I hate cakes. <laughs> I'm not keen on them myself. I think we've done a very good job there, Mary. We now have one educated, eloquent parrot. I believe that to be the case, Professor Chuckle. One must be awfully proud. Yes, well, you don't even have to talk like that anymore. It was only while we taught him to speak proper. I think the word one is looking for is properly. Sorry. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly. Ah, pretty Polly, pretty Polly. <laughs> Game 
set and match to Barry! <laughs> Good. Eating caterpillars that stuck up your drain pipe. I beg your pardon? Uh, your flan cheating flat pillars mucked up your chain pipe. Oh dear, is that bad? Yes, but remember, we plunge when no other plumber plunges. No need for that now. Hello. You are not a No. Who are you? I am Neil. And you are. That's right. Neil. No, no, neither of us called Neil. I'm Paul and he's Barry. I think he means kneel down. Kneel down? No, I never heard of him either, sorry. Gentlemen, prepare your weapons. And one, two, three, four, five. No, 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 no. Barry, you've got to go the other way. Look, get back and start again. Are you ready? And. What was that you said, Paul? You don't want to see the poor thing ending up with his head stuck on some hunting lodge wall. Old Mother Chuckle knows a thing or two about country pickles. That's why she always insists on the best. And the best are the pickles she makes herself. Naturally. From pecan pickle lily and gorgeous gherkins to beautiful beetroot and crispy cabbage. Homemade pickle from Old Mother Chuckle. She knows her onions. We'll stop. Tell you what, Thank time you. for lunch. We've got some ghost detection equipment with us. Yeah. Anywhere we can set it up. Let me. I've got the very place for you. Follow me. And, and what do you do? I'm Mr. Skimwater's Christmas assistant. And I'm also a medium. You know. I am. You know. I am. Are you? Yes. I'd have thought you were more of an extra large. Oh. Man, your clothes sizes are different in a minute. Hang on. What's that saying? For every action, there should be an equal and opposite reaction. Of course, you can't argue with science. Red roll, please. Allow me. Well, they are called red rolls. I am a patient man. But I'm getting just a little, what's the word? Cheesed off? <laughs> Precisely. See you. About time. You're new, aren't you? What are your names? Charlie. Charlie. Fred. Um, Fred Charlie. My name's Fred. And I'm Charlie. Except on a Tuesday. When we're both Charlies. Right then, Fred. Get the royal take off. Your Majesty. One lump or two, sire. Eight. Eight. Eight? You want to watch your way. Your way. You're way more handsome than I thought you were, you know. The Royal Teapot, coming up. She's nice, and she? Oh! oh! It's a funny name. Is she foreign? She is my wife to be there. Will you please give me my tea? Give me that. You poor. I'm sorry about that. She's a bit nervous. But it is a lovely place you've got, you know. Oh! There. Who's she dancing with? Whoever it is moves very well. Lovely mover. Come on, Davina, we're going to put a stop to this.
I don't understand. I do now. Why you? No, no, don't know. Uh, that's a nice hat. Where'd you get that then, eh? You don't want to blow away. Oh, oil, it's back. Gallons of it. It's round. Sensi. On guard. <laughs> Not again. Crust, crust, Barry, 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 repost. Barry, Barry, crust, lunge, repost, crust. Ha ha, brilliant. I wish Barry was here to see this. What's that for? She thinks we live there. Why? Well, I did lay it on a bit thick in my last letter. Thick as a plank. Here is the Oh, that's a good idea. No, I haven't finished yet. Oh, you look lovely. Give it to you. Give it to me. You can't have it. Can I not finish? Oh. Now look, wasn't my fault. Yes, well, concentrate. We've still got another two to come. We can't. You know. Let's look at the stupid thing. Yes. So go in a minute. It must be broke. You didn't build this, did you? No, just concentrate. Any second now. Oh. Thank you. Um, we're your guardians. What? Do you mind? Yes, your guardians. Gardeners? This might sound a daft question, but have you reached your geraniums? Have you reached my geraniums? Yes, well it says here that you swerved. Now, you went the wrong way, so turn left. Left? Right. Right? This is left. Yes, left, right? Oh, you make your mind up. Now, can you see your statue? Yes. Well, I'm sorry, you should have turned the other way, because my brother's got the paper upside down. <laughs> Now, whatever you do, try to avoid your shed. Designed by Tiger Woods. He gave them to me, you know. Did he? They're very special. Yeah. I'm back. Good. Now stand aside because I'm gonna park my car. Oh. Careful. He might run you over. Ooh. Come on. Come on then. To me. To me then. Oh, 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 oh. Did you put them there? Yes. I thought you might run over Paul. And put them where I'd run over my own clubs instead. Sorry. If you'll excuse us. Take the strain. And pull! to his clothes, obviously some out-of-work painter. Somebody trying to muscle him on our job. Why don't we let him have it? Barry, you I'm surprised at you. you. Captain Pilbury personally entrusted this job to us. And do you know why? Because he didn't know better? No, because he didn't know anybody any better. Especially a stupid oaf like that man. And if I could see him now, I'd give him a real piece of my mind. Oh. Ah, what? I 
said if I could see him now, I'd give it. Yeah, no. It was him! Uh, Ooh, let's get out of here! Go on, Barry! Oh, dear! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beethoven! Oh, can we call you here, Wiggy? You're in luck. Me and Barry, we're kind of tuners. Come and see it. I know we are, but neither can I. Have a good look round. I'll make some subtle inquiries. You don't happen to have an ancient chalice by any chance, do you? Yeah, to keep my crazy. But I have no need of it now. I have produced only four notes of my new symphony, and my benefit of you in moment. Here, perhaps I could help. Let's hear what you've got so far. So the piano's out of tune, you said? Ah, it's too sharp. Leave it to me. Here, try this. Nay, hey, this is not my symphony. Hello. Me turned up here now. I've given him a piece of my mind. Hello. Want your ice cream? You can't sell that. It's all melted. And whose fault is that? Rules is rules. I've got a complaint. Well, you do look peaky. Why don't you lay down? About the noise. Turn that thing off. It's him as well! I'll talk to him now, but meantime, if I have any more trouble from you, you're finished. I'm glad you gave him a piece of your mind. Uh, it's a good job he left then. He's nothing more than a jumped up little counsellor. Uh, or so I've been told. Actually, I think he's quite a nice chap. Hello. Call yourself a superhero? You've just let them two run off with the first issue of the Beetleman comic. The one you were in? I was going to give it you as a souvenir. That, that must have done him a world of good. Yay! Come collect our £50,000. Did that be my sofa by any chance? Possibly. We're very sorry. We'll pay for all the damages. Well, gentlemen, everything seems to be in order, so that's £50,000. <laughs> Minus, of course, the cost of my sofa. <laughs> was it expensive, then? Oh, no, 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 no. The sofa was hardly worth anything. <laughs> no, it was the rest of the stuff that was priceless. One... Georgian ceramic Pekingese. Oh, that old rubbish. Ten thousand pounds. What? And an oil painting, Monkey at Sunset by Florence Fossett. Thirty-nine thousand pounds. Leaving the gentleman with one pound. A pound? One measly pound? What can you get for a pound? Tell you what, you could buy another ticket. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? We've found out that matrons making these nice gentle folk make food for the airlines. Did you know about this? No, I never asked questions. Well, look out, she's here. Oh, so, your attitude, right? You've got one minute to get this lot back to work or there'll be trouble, understand? Uh, yes, Matron. Uh, leave it to me, Matron. I'll sort it out straight away. Oh, you better. Those meals have to be at the airport by 3.30 precisely. If that old bat finds out about this. I beg your pardon. Uh, I said I'm looking a bit fat. I think I'll give lunch a miss. Good. That means more time for work. In one day, we've lost the crown jewels, got rid of the ravens from the tower, and brought about the end of the country as we know it. Look on the bright side. At least we've still got a job. Oi, you two, back to work. Hello there, shop. Oh, oh. Ah, butler. We've come to spend Christmas with my old friend Julian Halliburton. What a shame, sir. I regret to say Mr. Halliburton has left the country. Good day, sir. Well, just a minute, just a minute. Who lives here now, then? The house is currently occupied by his nephew, sir. Young Rafe! Do you know, I've not seen him since he was so high. Go and inform him that Mr. Chuckle and Mr. Chuckle are here. Very well, sir. I'll inform him of your presence. Oh, we haven't brought any presents. Bit of a surprise busy, you see.
listen anyway. You should be ashamed of yourselves. It's no good, Barry. You're gonna have to confess. But I haven't done anything. What? Never? Ever? Never? No. Yes, what about? Years ago? Oh. I once opened all the doors on my advent calendar on the 1st of December and then Auntie Mary, I took her wig and glued it on Uncle Harry's chin while he was asleep. What about when you wet yourself? Oh, in the top infants, I wet myself and blamed it on the gerbil. It's outrageous. Not really, you should have seen that gerbil. Nasty piece of work, wasn't it? Mm. Not that! I'm talking about the fact that you haven't realised. That I'm Kurt Kitchen and you've been pranked, dudes! <laughs> prank, 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 prank. Well, congratulations, everyone. You've made it through to the last day of training as police community support officers. Now, some people say we're not proper policemen. But I say to that, stop saying it! OK, men, we've gone surrounded. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Sorry, sir. Now, present notebooks. What's this? I don't understand. I'll show you, sir. What you do, you pick it very fast like that, and the little man jumps up and down, you see? Oh, yes, it's amazing. It's almost real. It is, isn't it? Doctor, this is disgraceful. How much of this garbage is there? I think that's it now. Can we start a business? Can we make it something less smelly? Oh, we certainly can. I think I've got it. Oh, give it here then. That is not the memory stick. Oh dear, oh dear. You better wash your hands before dinner. So every time I want to watch digital TV, I have to wear a suit of armour? That pretty much sums up the situation. Well, I don't think that's acceptable. Difficult customer. Get it changed now! And stop eating my apple! Oh! Now what are we gonna do? I'll have to have a banana instead. You know what I mean about it? Oh! Do you know, buddy? I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Selling all our old stuff on the internet will make a fortune. Are you sure, Paul? Looks like a load of old rubbish to me. Nonsense. It's like a treasure trove. Yeah. Got an idea. You hold the items up one by one and I'll put a price on them. Okay. A small sachet of ketchup. Hmm. One thousand. A thousand pounds? It's an antique, Barry. It's certainly out of date. A healthy body is exactly. a happy body. We know. <laughs> right, let's go and play the dice decider. Come on, yeah! guys. Right, if you'd like to put these boxing gloves on first, you've got to get as many wrappers off as you can by the time the bell goes, OK? So, are you ready? Are you steady? Off you go. Right. That's the bell. Right, let's check and see how we've done. Come round here, let's have a look at the red team first. 
Oh, you've got how many? Two wrappers off, so you're down to wrapper two, he said on there. You've got two wrappers off, uh, <laughs> and you're still on the green. You had a good try, though, didn't you? Well, the Reds got the most wrappers off, so that means the Reds won the game, and they go first in the main game of To Me, To You. Let's yeah! go back to the ball. <laughs> On there, Barry. Hey, you've done a good job again. Look at all the holes. Yeah, that's lovely. Who won the dice decider? The red team. Oh, well done, yes. you too. Hey, right. So we know the game, don't we? The idea is to move the truck this way and that, or to me to you. We've got to try and get it down to our home square over there when we take all the prizes off here and put it in your treasure chest to keep. Yeah. Then we bring it back here and fill it up again. We do, yeah. <laughs> and to get there, you have to throw the mega dice. Yes, you do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Well, 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 you, Monique, yeah. are you good at throwing dice? Yeah. Good girl, so you're going to be pushing the trolley. And what about my side? Who's throwing the dice on my side? I am. You are, Charlie. Right, OK, then. Right, you are, then. There's the dice, you get ready to throw it. You go, right. go and stand by here. Here we go. Right, you sit on the beach. Oh, we're ready, let's play. To me, to you. you. Throw the here dice, to me now. Right, a bit to me, a bit to me, 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 Yummy. No time for that. Right, this is the spot. What is? This is. We've got to fit shells into this alcove. Can't you do it? I'm on my break. There's no time for breaks. Now go and get some wood while I work out what to do with it. What are you doing? Um, I'm just keeping my eye on it for you. I'm back to do that myself now. Pass me a piece of cake. Pardon? Uh, I mean a piece of wood. We'll start with the one metre piece. One metre? Yes. Let's have a look. How's that? That's him. Offer him in. Right. Steady. Steady, steady, steady. Steady, steady there. Look at that. Fits like a glove. That's very handy. <laughs> <laughs> what next? We'll have a two metre piece next. Two metre? Yeah. There we go. To, to me. you, to you. Right, right. here we go. <laughs> Steady, steady. steady. You got it? Right. There it goes. <laughs> Perfect. It's all going very smoothly, don't you think? What next? I think we'll try another two metre piece. Right. Two metres to you. Two metres to me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's too big, that. Oh, dear. We'll have to try another one metre piece. Right, here we go. To you. To me. There we go. It fits at this end. Well, it doesn't at my end. To me a bit. To you. See, it's not big enough. Get ready for Chuckle Vision after the next programme on CBBC. Get ready for a special delivery because you know who are back in town. They're the Chuckle Brothers with a tasty new series. Mm. Fun and Madness every Tuesday afternoon at 10 to 4 on CBB. For Tuesdays and Wednesdays, get ready to say... Hello. To the Chuckle Brothers. It's a great pleasure to meet you two. And you. Ah! Who, by their own admission, are... Silent but deadly, that's us. A couple of pests out of control. So if you're looking for a giggle, have a goggle into the gagtastic world of Chuckle Vision comedy. <laughs> Starts 8th of September on CBBC One. <laughs> What's your name? Yes. I said, what's your name? That's right. What's right? That's right. What is? Yes. Yes, what? It's my name. I'm asking you. I'm telling you. You're telling me what? Yes. What? Yes. Oh, don't keep saying yes. What's your first name? What's my second name? I didn't ask you that. I said, what's your first name? What's my second name? What is your second name? Yes. Is it? It is. What? Yes. What? Yes. <laughs> Look, forget it. I'll try this lad. He looks more sensible. Right. What's your name? What's his name? I'm asking the questions. I'm telling you. you what's your name? What's his name? You, forget him. Mm -hmm. You are who? Yes, I am. You, 
You are who? I am who? Who? Me. You. Who? You. Me. You who? You who? <laughs> you who? <laughs> you who? Really isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Dear old dear. I'll go back to him. Me. Look, what's your first name? What's my second name? Oh, don't start that again. Just tell me your first name. Paul. Paul. Paul what? Yes. Y yes, what? That's my name. What is? That is. What? Yes. <laughs> Spell it, please. Uh, w a t t. Oh, what? Yes. Paul, what? Yes. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? See, it gets through in the end. Right. And what's your first name? What's his second name? Oh, dear. <laughs> Look, just tell me your first name. My first name is Barry. Barry. Mm. Barry who? That's right. Y what's right? No, who's right? Y who's right? I'm right. Who? Who? You. Me. You who? You who? <laughs> He's oh, again. 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 <laughs> Look. Barry, please spell your second name. Spell it. H O O. Oh, who? Yes. Barry, who? That's it. And Paul, what? Yes. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> You've got your mop the wrong way round. Oh, oh sorry. sorry. <laughs> Not you, you. Well, make your I was right the first time. I thought I would be. You! Oh, Were you talking to me? You! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not you. I'm me. How can you be me? I'm not you. I'm me. I'm me, buddy. I've always been me. No, I'm me. I always say to you. And I say to me. Oh, he's right. He is me. Yes. It's him! It's you who's got it wrong. Turn it round. <laughs> him. <laughs> He's a barrel of laughs, isn't, isn't he? he? Yes. Yeah. It's not him, it's me. You haven't got a mop. You... <laughs> you said you were me. I didn't. I said I was me. You said you were me. I didn't say I was you. You're not me. I know I'm not a me. Well, you said you were me. I didn't. I said I was me. You... You... Will you stop messing about? Now get your mop right, me. Oh. Who, me? You! Ah, oh, well, I should have said that in the first place. <laughs> Some instructions now? Yes, sir. Squad, shoulder, arms. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's it. Yes. Must be, it's because he says... Well, show this, what's this, then? He said shoulder, arms, and put my arm on his shoulder, like you just did to me, that's then. That's not how you shoulder arms! Well, first it's all Anton Deck, and then it's shoulder <laughs> arms. I don't know what you mean. I'll show you how to shoulder arms! Thank you. Yeah. Get him down, crew, get him down. <laughs> when I say shoulder arms, you go one, two, 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 and throw them over your shoulder. Oh, that's easy enough, Barry. We can do that. Squad, shoulder, arms. One, two, 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 Pick him up! Pick him up! What do you want us to do with him? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Oh, careful. Oh, sorry. You could have had me eye out there. Oh. Did you see that? Did you see that? Again, again. Why do the cockies always, always jump down the drain? Is that your mobile? Telephone. Oh, it's this. Hello, your phone's ringing. Hello, your phone. Get your phone. I'll tell you what, you better answer it. Me? Well, you can't leave them ringing. It's a bit cheeky, isn't it? No, go see who it is. OK. Good, this. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> 
say. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. Right. Okay. Bye. Who was it? He didn't say. <laughs> no, he didn't. You stupid thing. Hey, sit down. Come on. What? Bring it again. You better get it again. Shall I? Yes. Go on. I'll sneak up on it. <laughs> Hello. Oh, yes, it is. Thank you. Bye. What's she say? She said it's a long distance from Australia. I said it is. <laughs> it... Paul usually does this, but I've got him before him. Welcome to our new DVD, Indiana Chuckles and the Kingdom of the Mythical Soak. <laughs> You're going to really enjoy it. We've got elephants, we've got mummies, we've got all sorts... Paul's coming. Hello? Oh, yeah. 